This is the village where mass is done. Look for the people that you will meet every time you see them walking down the street. These are the houses and they are known, each by a number all its own. Along to the school gate and back again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Count all the places that you will see. Listen to the stories that there will be. Here in the village where we've begun to find out. Mass is fun. Mass is fun. Hello. I wonder how many people we shall meet in the village today. Well, it's a special day today, and Farmer Dunn's come along. Here he is. So now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven people in the village. So our number today will be the number seven. Let's begin with a song all about seven. I went to the circus in the town Hoping to see a silly clown what did I find to my delight? Seven silly clowns came into sight. Three silly clowns rolled upon the floor, trying to trick the other four. Four silly clowns, as you can see, jumped in the air to miss the other three. Seven silly clowns all danced along. The ringmaster beat a great big gong. Two silly clowns dived into beds. Five silly clowns stood on their heads. Six silly clowns went for a ride. One silly clown sat down and cried. Six rode around the circus ring and then seven silly clowns were back again. Kate and Ben loved going to the circus, but they laughed so much they found it difficult to count all the clowns as they jumped up and down. In our story today, they're back in the village and it's market day, and they're still having trouble counting. I wonder if you can guess why. Our story is called Seven Lambs. Tuesday was always a busy day at the market. Farmers came to buy and sell animals. Instead of the usual market stalls, there are pens with railings round them where the animals will be kept safely from wandering off. Usually, Kate and Ben were at school, but today was half term, so they could come to see the animals. Look, said Ben, a pig. A large, fat pig stared up at them and grunted. Kate and Ben made grunting noises back at the pig, who grunted again and then went on eating from a large pile of vegetables. No wonder people call them greedy pigs. They never seem to stop eating, said Kate. Like greedy the goat, laughed Ben. They went to another pen where there were two black and white calves. They were quietly eating hay, but stopped and stared at them with big brown eyes. They pushed their faces through the railings to be stroked. Their noses were soft and warm. Kate and Ben could have stayed there all day. But suddenly, there was a bear sound from the next pen. There, they saw some baby lambs. They were huddled so close together that the children could hardly tell one from another. How many are there, Ben? asked Kate. How many? Oh, it's not easy to count them when they're all so close together. If each of us counts and we both count the same number, then we should be right, said Kate. Me first, said Ben, and began. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven. I'll just make sure, said Kate. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right, there must be seven. I wish I could pick one up, said Ben. Oh, yes, said Kate. They look so soft and cuddly. Just then, one of the little lambs wriggled out through a gap in the railings. Then another one squeezed through and ran off. You get inside the pen and keep guard so no more of them can get out, said Kate. I'll try and find the other two. Where could they have gone, asked Ben. All animals seem to be hungry, said Kate. Lambs like to eat grass, so I'll look on the village green where there's plenty of grass. Mr Price, the policeman, was walking up and down, 
keeping an eye on things as usual. But he hadn't yet found anything to keep an eye on. Have you seen any lambs, Mr. Price? Kate asked. Lambs? Nope, he answered. And certainly not on the village green. Then there was a bear. And they looked round and saw two lambs eating the grass. Tut, tut, said Mr. Price. Lambs on the village green? Where have they come from? The market, said Kate. We saw them run away. Then we'll have to take them back, said Mr. Price. At that moment, Farmer Dunn arrived at the market with his truck. Where are my seven lambs, he shouted. There's only five in the pen. Then Mr. Price walked up, carrying the other two lambs, one under each arm. Here they are, he said. Kate and Ben helped me to find them. Oh, thank you, children, said Farmer Dunn. Would you like to put them into the truck while I check how many there are? They picked them up one at a time and handed them to Farmer Dunn. He counted. One, two, three, four, five. Two more, please. Six and seven. Good. Now I could do with some more help at the farm. Would you like to come with me in the truck and unload them? Then Mrs. Dunn will give you a big farmhouse tea. The children were delighted. Wasn't it busy in the market today? I'm very glad that Mr. Price and Ben and Kate were there to help catch those naughty lambs which had escaped. Well, I've got seven white lambs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to make them a pen out of this fencing to keep them nice and safe and make sure that they don't escape and run off. There they are. There's a, a pen for them. And since lambs like grass, and I've got some pretend grass here, and that should keep them happy. Right. Well, I'm going to put five lambs into the pen. One, two, three, four, five. So now I've got five lambs inside the pen, and I've got one, lamb, two lambs on the outside looking in. Have I still got all my lambs? I'd better count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lambs. But what if another one escapes? What then? And off he goes. Ah, now I've got one, two, three, Four lambs inside the pen, and one, two, three lambs outside. I'd better check and make sure they're all still there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lambs. Well, I've got to go now. But I can't leave those three lambs outside the pen. I don't know where they'd go. Well, I've got four lambs inside the pen, and now I've got... Five, six, seven, seven frisky lambs. And now I know where they all are. Seven lambs, safely in their pen. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Two, three, is four, five, six, fun, seven, eight, nine, and ten. <laughs>